Good evening. Um, hi, my name is <laughs> my name is Barry Silvey. This is episode number 630, 630, 630. And the topic today is be a conscious contributor, make a difference. And I'll explain what I'm about and also why this is the late broadcast for me um, in a moment. Before I do that, let me introduce myself so you can so you know who I am. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction. Excuse me, let me back up and say that again. I changed it. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And being that champion for the divine feminine, that led to these talks I've done now for over a couple of years, over two years now, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. But this week, I've noticed most of my talks haven't been gender-specific. They've actually been open, open to either gender, both genders inclusive. And today's topic is no different. So this is episode number 630, and the title again is Be a Conscious Contributor, Make a Difference. And the reason why I'm late, time-wise, I'm doing broadcast today, and also why I'm talking about this topic is because I spent most of today, and I'll be spending most of tomorrow as well, probably Saturday as well, we'll see what happens, um, supporting and serving at the Conscious Life Expo that's getting started tomorrow. We're doing setup today. And something I'm very aware of in my life is the value of service, the value of giving from a place of basically overflow. Because the thing is, about doing this sort of thing, it really is a place of, of giving from a caring place, which it's hard to do if you're not coming from a conscious and whole place. Like when you give from a place where you're lacking, it can be very draining and not feel very positive. In fact, you'll probably be bemoaning everything and being upset. If you are taking care of yourself and filling yourself up first, loving yourself first, which is one of the things I teach, um, that's why that self-love guided meditation that I, I offer, which I'll put in the comments, the link for that as well. Got to plug my stuff. Um, but then when you are supporting and loving yourself, then when you are choosing to give, you have an abundance of resource and energy and love to give from. And when you do that, you raise the vibration on the planet because you're helping other people be better off as well. You're contributing to people's life experience being more enjoyable. And basically, everybody wins. And you win because you actually get to give from your overflow. And the side benefit is a lot of times you get some sort of benefit by appreciation or some sort of value some other way, which is great. It's wonderful. It's a really nice, nice experience. Today was a lot of legwork. For me, I was actually doing a bunch of different things, including assembling programs and then building an, an archway for a big ceremony tomorrow and then spray painting everything. I didn't dress for the part, so I'm hoping my clothes will be okay in the morning. I didn't look at them in daylight. It's been in a hotel the whole time. But I'm trusting that this is a value, and tomorrow I'll be there again doing some more service work. And I'm using this example. This is one example, but the reality is being a conscious contributor is, can be massive because the thing is, I'm calling it conscious, contri conscious contribution because it's easy to just donate some of your paycheck to save the children or to the Red Cross. It's okay to throw some money in somebody's jar who's a homeless person looking for help. But to change their life, to contribute to somebody's life so that you actually help a person get rehabilitated or you give that person a hot meal or you actually go volunteer at an animal shelter or you do something like that. These activities, these actions, these choices are conscious contribution. They're doing something that is of value, of benefit, and of um, impact in the world. And I'm a big fan of this. I mean, I'm a, I'm a perpetrator of this too. So this is my encouragement to you. I know, it's, I know it's a Thursday night and it's not necessarily the right day of the week, but that's the other thing about doing this sort of thing. You can contribute, you can serve, you can volunteer any day of the week, any time of the day. I know some friends of mine who go down to the Midnight Mission in downtown LA and work on Skid Row. And that's oftentimes a nighttime activity, which is not the most positive time to do things. But they're doing it in a safe way because they're doing it together in a group and you're doing it in a way that is making a difference. And the reality is they're being received in an amazing way. So my encouragement to you, my invitation to you, is look for ways you can serve in your community. Maybe it's an event, like I'm going to be at this weekend with the Conscious Life Expo. And if you're in LA and you happen to be going to it, say hi to me, I'll be there. Um... But if it's something in where you live or it's some sort of person or group or organization where you can contribute your time, your effort, your energy, it's a very thing, very wise thing to do. Something I did a while ago, um, it was actually last summer, I think, 
Christmas, September, October, September, about August, September, a friend of mine who I know, she does work with animal shelters, and she heard about this project that was being done by a women's um, organization uh, close by. Whoops. I'm sure it's still going. Okay, sorry, my battery is getting low. I need to finish it up pretty quickly. Um, that, that's for not planning to bring a battery charge for my phone. Being able to go and help, and what we did at the women's, the women's organization is they were building these cots for dogs. And what they are, it was very simple. I mean, it was like it was a, it was a very uh, strong canvas um, impregnated material sus suspended across a frame made out of basically PVC piping. And as we, it, was pretty, it was cut to order. We basically, we just assembled them. We screwed them in, built the whole thing. And what they are simply is that it's, just a, it's a, a dog bed that basically sits like three, four inches off the ground for the beds to sleep on when they're in animal shelters because the animal shelters are usually concrete floors. And when it's cold out, like it is this time of year, these dogs suffer in the cold. By having that raised from the floor, it can, say, it can raise the temperature quite a bit and help them heal and help them basically survive that time in the dog pound or in the, you know, in the shelter. So that project was something we did. It took an afternoon, but we changed the lives of maybe 20 dogs. It's something to do. So it doesn't, it, there's no necessarily the right thing to do, but do something that makes a difference. Consciously contribute, serve, Give from your overflow. Share your love in a way that is beneficial to other people around you. If you do this, I'm going to bring this back to relationships in a moment. You'll make you more fulfilled and be making more happy in life. It'll also give you a reflection of just how good your life really is. And the funny thing is, is when you do something of value or service in a kind way, you never know who you, never know who you might meet. If you're single, sometimes serving is the best way to meet somebody because you're giving something that you love to do especially if it's something you love doing by the way not just do it for the sake of doing it but you might meet somebody there of your preferable sex who is also contributing and serving in a way and when you serve together it's probably one of the nicest ways to meet somebody much better than going to a bar or a club to meet somebody i can tell you that so my encouragement to you is to go do it and have fun and the side benefits as i mentioned a few of them can be prolific but it starts with you. So first of all, fill up your fuel tanks, your love tanks first. Again, I'll put the link in the comments for self-love practice. And then when you feel the call, when you notice something, you hear something, you see something, someone you can contribute, serve, make a difference. Maybe it's a volunteer organization that meets up once a week, once a month, and you go help them. Go do that. It will make a difference in your life. It will make a difference in at least one other person's life. And it may make a difference on the planet. And for that, I am very supportive of that happening. So I wish you well doing that because, frankly, we could all do more service, more contribution, more making a difference on the planet. And this is absolutely one of my favorite things. So with that, I thank you for watching. And um, quick replays. And by the way, this is a late broadcast than usual. Usually 5 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow it's going to be an early one. I'll do it in the morning, I think, because I'm going to be at the, the Conscious Life Expo the whole afternoon and evening. And there's no cell signal there, which is why I couldn't do my broadcast today at my normal time. That's why it's 9 o'clock tonight. Um, so we're doing it in the morning, I think. I'm running around doing errands all over the place tomorrow. And I'll also be... Um, that's why I'm thinking, about, thinking ahead of myself. That may be happening Saturday too, because I'm at the conference but, um, all, three, all three days. Maybe Sunday too, I'm not sure. I'm still deciding if I want to do Sunday. I have choices, so I'm playing. But I'm serving today, serving tomorrow, and participating tomorrow and Saturday as well. So anyway, with that having been said, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I usually do these at 5 p.m. Pacific time, except this weekend. <laughs> Schedule's off. But normally I do 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook. So it's Facebook Live first, then YouTube after that, and I'll give you the link so you can find me. Um, my personal page on Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. My replays go onto my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. And then I put them onto my YouTube channel for those people who watch on YouTube. And if you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, please subscribe. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. And you can watch all my broadcasts from the newest to the oldest right there. I've also got a podcast on iTunes called Messages from the Masculine, which so far has about 35, 40 of my earlier broadcasts on there in audio format, which you can enjoy at your leisure. And if you have any questions, comments about this, please put them in the comments below. If you want to share it with anybody you think you should watch this, please share it with them. Again, I'll put a link in the comments for the self-love practice because it will help you be more loving and take care of yourself better. And uh, that's about it. I will see you again tomorrow. 
Again, probably an AM broadcast in case you're wondering where I'm going to be at 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be in the middle of the opening ceremonies of the Con Conscious Life Expo. So with that, I thank you for being with me. I will uh, be back again tomorrow, as usual. And uh, take care of yourself. S make a difference in your life. Make a difference in somebody else's life. You will value the experience. See you again tomorrow.